Hey, buddy. How we doing? I always like this knife. Gave it to Matthew when all of this started. Really good music here, too. I know he's dead. Very, very tense. It? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? Heard him talking earlier or something about shooting a man. I could see it. I could see it on his face. Wasn't sure then. But now? It was us. It was our fault. Feel good. I wouldn't either if I was a school Nick teacher. Shot him. Guys don't even make a living wage. There's kids flipping burgers at McDonald's that are fresh out of high school that are making more money than you. Yeah, that'd be a drag for me too, Chief. Is, uh, I feel it. Is Nick a good man? Or Sometimes. Is he just like everyone else. He is. He's a good guy, Walter. He saved my life. That is right. He was when we were at the shed, Nick drew the walkers away from us and gave us a chance to get out. Nick wouldn't have done that if he wasn't by heart a good person. What's going on? You need to tell him. Tell him what? What happened on the bridge? Come on, dude. Just bare your soul. Give it a fucking good old performance. Just tell me, son. Tell me what happened. Give it a dramatic, like flamboyant him. play. I, I, thought, I thought he was going to shoot my friends, and I... Come on, you're a... I shot Matthew. It, it, what are they called? It happened real fast. I didn't, I didn't know if I hit him, but I did, and... It starts with a P, I, I think. To. Thespian. You're a thespian, Nick. Come on, be a thespian, dude. You know what you've done to me. Dude, I know I, thespian I, 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 doesn't start with the P. Sh like, shut to. the fuck up. I'm so like, sorry. I'm so sorry, Walter. There you go. Not really dramatic enough, kind of like a 4 out of 10, but hopefully he buys it. TBH. Keep the knife, asshole! What if we need it? Idiot. Walt! What's going on? The storm's got it spinning out of control! That sound's gonna draw walkers! We gotta shut it down now! Nate, help me. Carry the guns. Guns? Yeah, guns, stupid. The wind it's is gonna draw walkers. Now. We need something to defend ourselves. Come on, dude. Think with your head, Sarita. Don't think with your nose piercing. If it's too dangerous, put Sarita back inside, dude. Actually, no, that's not a good idea either. She'd be better out here in a group. TBH. Just away from the Transformers and away from the zombies. Does anyone know how to do this? Great. I can do it. Okay, we'll watch your back. Nick, scan the trees with me. Okay, I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick, because I know if I don't do it now, I'm not going to be able to make it through the rest of the stream, so I will be right back.
All right. I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay, we need the starter key. We gotta put the key in this first. Turn the key, push it in. That's it? I thought there'd be some switches to flip on the board. I guess not though. Something ain't right. Yeah. Great. <laughs> All right, zombies, feeding time. Nix right here. You gotta get back to the lodge. That would be the best move. Come on, the lodge was clear. Just run to the lodge. Pick them off through the windows, dude. Come on. So stupid. Carlos. Thanks for the spot, Chief. Nice. Good dodge. Carlos is good at the QTEs. Don't leave the rifle, dude. Come on, man. You already shot it in the head. Might as well get the rifle back. Stupid. That wasn't very bright. Oh, that's gonna put me on my ass. Holy shit. Once again, with this fucking reticle going all the way over to the side of the screen is so fucking stupid. Let's get the knife. The knife is more reliable, more dependable. Won't knock me on my ass as hard. There we go. Not bad. Schoolboy Q is kinda out of it. Thanks, Walter. I mean, you only prolong the inevitable. Nick sucks. He's gonna get killed eventually, I promise. See, Walter's a good person, too. He can forgive. He's a good man. Come get inside. Nick tries to be good. But he sucks a lot. Okay, honestly, I thought that was much more of an action-heavy sequence. Yeah, that was a full auto weapon, yeah. Let's get back in the fucking lodge, maybe. That wasn't one of our people, yeah. They're coming out of the woods. Let's get back in the lodge, ambush them from up top, rifle them in the fucking head. Come on, it's only four people, are you serious? It's four dudes. Three dudes. Nah, four dudes. How's it going? Rebecca. Carver. Nice to see you too. Fair enough. <gasps> oh shit. Sarah. With the cold cock right in the fucking mouth. Honestly, he deserves it for wearing that ugly of a plaid shirt. Inside. Zombie apocalypse or not, uh-uh. Sorry, hombre. It's you. Keep moving. Keep moving. No, I'm serious. Like, literally, I know they have full auto weapons, but literally everybody here has pistols. Literally just do a synchronized fucking four-man shot and they're all dead. I'm sorry, but it's stupid. Look at this place. Yeah, it's ours, so get lost. Like that one TV show.
Nice hand signal. I like that. Power and everything. A lot of windows, though. It's fucking huge. Bill's gonna hate it. Now the rest of them could be anywhere. Really wishing we kept that knife right about now. We could go up and stab that dude in the jugular when he turns around. And how the fuck are we gonna cover these guys and look for them too? Johnny, cover that window. What do you mean cover the window? Cover the window for what? You guys are the ones with the full auto weapons. If zombies were to work their way in here, you'd be the first to shoot them, dumbass. Not very smart putting your man in front of the fucking window like that, but okay. I mean, we have two point men outside that aren't here right now, just saying. They don't know that, though, I don't think. Can't hold against them what they don't know. See, Carver has no reason to do this. That's kind of what I hate. Why doesn't he just take these people and fuck off? Go back through the woods or whatever. Damn. Listen, I'm only gonna ask you once. Carver pulls no punches. It's kind of what I like about Sam, him. Look at me. It's gonna be okay. Oh. Ah! Back up! Oh. Back up! Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. I know you're out there, and Alvin, and Luke, and the girl. This is real simple. You want this over quick. You all play nice. And show your faces. My dad, please. You'll kill him. No, Alvin. We gotta go down there. I can't do that. Beck, the baby. You need a doctor. No. Where's Luke and Kenny? How the hell am I supposed to know? We have to help Carlos. Only way to help him is to do what the man says. What about Luke and Kenny? Look at those guns. If he starts shooting, and people are gonna die on both sides. <laughs> Clint can sneak out. Find Luke. What the hell is she gonna do? And you heard him. Carver knows she's with us. Just stop! Don't hurt my dad, please! We're going down there. He'll kill you. Fuck you. Shoot him! Somebody just shoot him! Go kill him, Beck. Yeah, seriously, I'm sorry, but if they just Beck, shot Carver, like, if they shot Carver, what what are the odds that all these other people would just start shooting everybody? I don't Beck, think so. Stop. It's so fucking stupid. This is one of the parts where the plot kind of dips and doesn't make a lot of sense. Because honestly, anybody with a brain could find a way out of this. But no, they gotta make it all dramatic and really stupid. Like, I'm sorry, but literally two of our point men could have taken out Bonnie and Carver right there in one shot and just killed the rest of the two in the middle of the confusion with the pistols. I'm sorry, but this is a clean sweep. This would be so easy. None of them have guns trained on anybody right now. Like, this is such a one-and-done simple kind of solution. Everything under control? Just be quiet. Luke and Kenny are out there. Yeah, see, there's that. That's kind of why I said stay away from the windows. And yeah, it's kind of a stupid-ass plot device. I'm sorry, but, like, this is kind of one of the parts where, like, the story and, like, the weight kind of dips a bit. You know what I, I mean? Like, the quality it. is a little bit trash here. It's kind of bad. No, Walter, he's cool. Come on, give him a leg sweep. Oh man, that fucking shot! Mm. That's why we love revolvers in this house. That's for our man. Now, I didn't want to do this, but you ain't leaving me much choice. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna march another one. Oh, I mean, he had his here. hands tied behind his back, so if he, like, swept him, it would've ended up bad. I didn't notice now. that. Your choice. Also, they know Carver is the leader. Luke could've told Kenny that. 
Why didn't they just shoot Carver through the window instead of the other you dick? George, Stupid. You see, I do. I remember a guy that was your friend named George. I remember when you murdered him in cold blood. And why? Because you didn't like me? You could have lodged a complaint. You could have... They could have been civil. Hell, no! We'll do whatever you want! Kenny! Luke! Don't shoot! Huh. Ugh. Damn, did he just snap his ankle? Holy shit. Oh, you wouldn't shoot me, bitch. You don't have the stones. I would kick your ass from here to next week. We can do this all night. Is that what you want? Come on, dude. You don't want my size sevens up your ass. Where's Luke? See, I like that. I like how intuitive Carver is to Finally, select me because I mention Kenny and Luke by name. So because I mention Kenny by name, Carver knows that I have some sort of deep connection because he knows I wasn't with Kenny before. So it's like he's intuitive and smart-witted enough to be able to throw that together that fast. That is kind of what I like about Carver's character, is he's very cunning and he's not a fucking idiot. It's kind of cool. Back to camp. Other than that, this plot device fucking sucks balls. I'm sorry, but it does. But that's the only part of it that I really like. Yeah, just watch his broken fingers there, honey. So this plot is kind of stupid, too. Like, what the fuck do they want with Kenny? Like, I know he killed one of their guys, but, like... He killed one of our guys. If Carver is stone cold and calculated or whatever, what does it matter and why is he dragging us along? It makes no fucking sense. Like, this is stupid. Why is Carver even after us? I don't know if we could have saved Walt, but I know one of us didn't just give up. Like, I'm sorry, but like, Carver Walt knows we were with the other happened. group, but we found Kenny. We were stable Let's with remember, Kenny. These are our he could have killed Walter for Kenny killing they their guy, and it would have been fair, and even community. Stevens, and then they could have just left with the other guys that I don't give a fuck yeah. about. That don't mean they can't and if I needed to, I could have staged an assault on their place with fucking no, Kenny. We would have found it. Find it in our hearts if their encampment was nearby, we could have told Kenny that, and then staged a fucking assault on it. Choose not to accept our love. Surely we should have had. Yeah, so I'm not gonna deny that, like, some of the plot points in this game are fucking terrible as shit. And this is kind of why I was going into that, like, the quality dips in Season 2 a little bit, but it's also very much there. But it's not as good as 1 in certain respects. So, like, now you guys kind of get a hint of what I mean. Took blame for Sarah's photo. You and 51.5% of players blame somebody else. I mean, what else are you gonna do? Who did you sit with at dinner? You and 64% sat with our boy. Honestly told Walter the truth about Matthew? 56% of people. Okay, so like, 44% of people are fucking assholes and manipulators and like shit houses. Forgiveness. Nick's fate. You and 56.3% of players convinced Walter to forgive Nick. Well, that's because like, we're banking on Nick's nature as a good person. Like, Nick makes a lot of fucking mistakes with his apprehensiveness and his itchy trigger finger and his inability to make rational decisions in critical encounters. But, like, we know his spirit's there. His heart's in the right place. Bravery. Left to find Kenny. You and 56.1% of players stayed to help Carlos. I mean, if we went to find Kenny, he would have just killed Alvin, too. 